Good morning, Mark Twain. This is the morning live from the library studio with your hosts, the TBD News Squad. Now to the anchors. Good morning, Mark Twain. This is MTTV. I'm Fiona. And I'm Sophie. Today is Monday, January 14th, 2013. We'll now observe the moment of silence and say the Pledge of Allegiance. Will you all please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? Attention 8th graders, Finance Park concludes today. All of Ms. Fowler's students should get their lunch and jackets and report to the cafeteria at the end of today's morning news. All you need today is your lunch and your jacket and head down to the cafeteria right after the morning news. Last Thursday, the symphonic band had the opportunity to rehearse with a professional conductor and 16 professional musicians as part of the Fairfax symphony score program. The band got to hear demonstrations by these great musicians and have the opportunity to play alongside them. Several of the musicians were highly complimentary of our band students and the conductor said they were very responsive, positive, and very well disciplined. Congratulations to the band for embracing this opportunity. Beginning tomorrow there will be a new library ELT policy. Students who wish to go to the library for ELT should head there at some point during the day between 7.50 a.m. and 2.06 p.m. There will be a sign-up sheet in the library. Students shouldn't, should do this between classes or during lunch. The first, student will get their, well, the first 30 students will get their planner signed by Ms. Platt. Then, show your pass to your regular ELT teacher. It is up to them to decide whether you are allowed to head to the library that day. This new polity goes on into effect on Tuesday. This Friday, all service learning projects are due for 8th graders. Don't forget that you must turn in completed hours, your written reflection, your interview organizer, and interview summary. If you have questions, see your civics teacher now. This weekend was surely warm for January, but dreary with a great deal of fog. Let's find out what to expect this week. Here's Nicholas with your weekly weather forecast. This is weather for the week. Good morning, Mark Twain Middle School. I am Nicholas Ryu with your weather for the week. Right now, it is 58 degrees and cloudy. And as you can see from this map, there isn't much going on here where we are, but there is some rain later in the week that will affect us later this week. Let's go to our weekend, our week forecast. Today, it will be 56 degrees with a chance of showers. Tomorrow, 41 degrees with a.m. showers and sun later in the day. And Wednesday will be 47 degrees and with a, a chance of showers. 
Thursday will be 48 degrees and cloudy. And Friday, 43 degrees and sunny. Let's go to our weekend forecast. Saturday will be 51 degrees and sunny. And Sunday, 45 degrees and mostly sunny. I'm Nicholas Real with your weather for the week. Thanks, Nicholas. Now here's today's lunch menu. Baked cheese sticks with marinara sauce, beef and bean burrito, yogurt biteable. Vegetables and fruits. Baked fries, Campbell minestrone soup, orange quarters with kiwi or chilled pineapple with cherry garnish. Well, that's it from us here in the studio. I'm Fiona. And I'm Sophie. Stay tuned for news you can use from your administration after these messages. Have, Have a, a great, great day, day, Twain. In case you missed it, here is MTTV's coverage of Coach Keston's press conference before the Twain Edison game. Well, what I can tell you is that we've been practicing it up. We've been running our drills. I've been coaching it up. We've been eating our vitamins. But the real reason I'm here today, folks, is because I want to tell you that we are live at Mark Twain Middle School. We are Mr. Hay. We are Mr. Amato. We are Mr. Jones. We are Miss Soto. We are Mr. Schechter. And we are Mr. K. And we're going to take you down. And that's not a challenge. That's a guarantee. We've been down this road four times. Four times we've been challenged. And four times we've brought these trophies home. But that might not be enough for some people. There's a guy by the name of Michael Jordan, MJ, if you remember him. He was in the NBA, and he won a championship six times with the Bulls. We're at four. We'd like to get to six, so we're going to see if we can. Because Michael Jordan, the greatest basketball player of all time, if we can emulate him, that's where we want to be. The Edison head coach has guaranteed a win for this game and said that your coaching was the only weak link in Twain's victory last year. Would you care to respond to that? Oh, I'll respond. Big Terry! The seven foot four giant, brother! Just because you're over at Edison and you're the big boys in town doesn't mean that 2013 is going to be your year. After we get through with you, they're not going to be saying, I want to be like Mike. They're going to be saying, I want to be like Mark Twain. Woo! The Twain staff goes for back-to-back -back victories against the staff of Edison High School. This Friday, January 18th, tip-off is at 7 p.m. Tickets cost $5 and are on sale at lunch. The first 100 tickets sold will get a free candy bar. Come out and support your Twain staff. Uh, Coach, one more question, please. Sure, one more, might as well. Uh, how do you feel about the students at Mark Twain running on the way to lunches? I'm not answering any more of these questions. Good morning, Mark Twain. Here's today's daily joke. Today's joke was submitted by Rafael Parayona. How do you make fruit punch? Give it boxing lessons. <laughs> Have a great day, Twain. Good morning, Mark Twain Middle School. All buses were on time this morning. Remember to buy your tickets for the Twain Edison basketball game for this Friday night. You, the quarter will be over next Friday, so make sure you get all your work in. Make sure you talk to your teachers and have all your work together. Have a good day, Twain.